a new law passing that restricts trans people from using crosswalks or something. Their feelings are transphobic and misogynistic, balding loser, and racist and homophobic and transphobic. Look at anything. <laughs> Look at the first post. It's been trending all weekend. It's funny how fast everyone turned on Super Mega. Yeah, and I think that goes to show, right? It's kind of self-fulfilling in, in a sense. 143K, it's basically just the song of the summer. It looked like Robert from Diary of a Wimpy Kid if he was wearing a banana peel. Well, hello, ladies and you all employees. I must speedrun this intro because I got a North Korean bomb shoulder drop and an Arkham Asylum escapee who looks maps into a light bulb. My video on tipster got removed by YouTube so they can choke on a smoothie of shit. I'll try to find a way to get it back up, but no promises. Now, aside from me getting anally waterboarded by Nelly, the tech support scammer that wants to nick my FIFA account, I got another victim I got a barbecue harder than Anakin did in Mustafar. That individual would be Ethan is online. A very accurate name because I bet if you asked him what color the grass is, he'd respond that it's purple. I can't even tell on which side of the podium you're thinking leaning towards. I see he's got that tethered sushi mob dangling from his head. Dude was balding so he just glued two pieces of cum tissues to hide it. I'm not exactly a fan of this bloomerang looking ass hobo. He was one of the three dick nips responsible for spreading the false cancellation of Super Mega. If you want to learn about that situation, many others have covered it in great detail since this isn't my place to talk about it because this video would just turn into a whole ass infoware documentary. All you need to know is ever since that point, Ethan has thrown many tantrums defending his whore that does only fans and looks like Edna from The Incredibles. After that entire debacle, he went back to complaining about random YouTubers not being queer enough for his liking. Now, I'm not a political commentator by any stretch. I keep up with most of it, but I don't lean conservative or liberal. In fact, I hate them both. The way I see it is it doesn't matter where you stand because it doesn't mean anything to be on one side over the other. Everyone wants to just get along, live life, but we have many extremists on both sides who perpetuate the worst aspects of their selective categories for their own agendas. For instance, you have the Daily Wire cesspit like Ben Shapiro, who will tell you that you aren't allowed to retire even if you are a crumbling, decaying fossil that'll crack his ribs if he breathes too hard. And then liptars like Justin Shitter, who preach how raising a pack of condoms of $14 a piece is helping pollution. Stuff like that that nobody will ever agree with unless your university major is collecting lightning strikes to the brain. Now, Ethan is mealtime as a political yapper who has a hate boner to anyone who doesn't have the same views as him, so you could classify him as a Windex-guzzling brain-rotted troglodyte with more holes in his noggin than a game of Tetris. You can count his IQ on basically one index finger and you'd still leave enough space for a family of ants to build the Great Wall of China on it. With that being said, this obese skinwalker would like to pretend he's a high-functioning intellect that would put Stephen Hawking on life support to let us slide down this Mariana Trench and skim through this yeasty beast's entire wardrobe of dramas. I'll go off of Vachiro's video because he did all the work for me and I just can't be asked to do the rest. My job here is just to spit out slang zingers like Eminem. Hi! Shut up. YouTube is great and all, but lately I've discovered a new passion of mine, and that's, uh, being a farmer. A humble guy farmer. Toiling the land and soil day and night for the most weird and annoying guys you can find on the internet. So Lewis Robinson's first crime was this no nipple simpleton moving his gums to say words because I'm about to turn into daredevil if I keep staring at you any longer. Today we're talking about a YouTube channel with nearly a million subscribers called Zeducation. If I described to you a balding white man with a podcast who peaked in high school, you'd probably be able to perfectly capture exactly what this man looks like. Are you guys laughing? I know I am. Also your forehead peaked to Burj Khalifa, don't even start. I love how Mr. Smee from Peter Pan is the goofy goober who's acting like he unlocked Ultra Instinct Roasting. So the first video I want to look at today is called Woke SJW Cringe Compilation. Sorry, I thought it was the year 2015 for a second and uh, I was in high school again and I was getting ready for a math test. I'm having a hard time containing my laughter. Someone kill me. You can do that if you want to. That's the beauty of this country, right? Free speech. You're supposed to be able to do that. But if you are going to be annoying like that, it's not the best place to be wearing a people versus fossil fuels insignia. The funniest thing about guys like Tyler is that if you're half asleep and high and really stupid. You're just making my job a whole lot easier with the self-report. I would take the sperm jar a lot more seriously if you didn't walk to prom with the door of the Explorer lunchbox while looking like a yeti zombie with alopecia. So your Elliot Rogers expose is you hate a guy for reacting to TikToks because something? I'm not sure, like what's next? Is a skinny person fat phobic for looking at a treadmill? So this next segment is another commentary YouTuber by the name of Sensitive Society was reacting to a clip where a tumble twat was claiming that streaming is harder than a 9 to 5 job. Fired from what? Content creation is harder than your 9 to 5. 
you really don't know how much hard work goes into creating multiple videos a day. Being constantly creative with new video ideas, trying to make footage look good, getting new shots, taking many many takes over and over, it can get to be a lot. Oh no you didn't. This man said, <laughs> this fucking guy, being a content creator is hard harder than working a nine to five hey man uh so when did he say that so you're a spad day and your death like the fuck is going on in that empty void you call a thinking cap how much colgate toothpaste are you drinking by the hour to have the mental fortitude of a ball of cabbage called she thinks being fat is healthy and we should only date fat people Here's my response. These people think being fat is healthy. If you're not fat, you're fat phobic. Not something anyone has ever said. Not specific to black people. And we've used that as an excuse to shape a societal beauty standard that is anti-fat. That includes being thin. That Here's your reminder that fat phobia is rooted in racism. If you're so worried about health, then maybe you should go on a diet, honestly. See, fat phobia is rooted in racism. So you are a racist oh. little baby. Said, but this is not healthy. This is what being healthy in 2022 looks like. Pathetic. Gen Z thinks being skinny is racist. Again, no one thinks that. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside, he says, when his name is literally Ethan is online. Have you looked at a mirror lately? Maybe not, because it's shattered from looking at your porn, disgusting, silly putty eating, pin sauce drinking, big side shrinking, porn hub binging, crayon licking, your girlfriend keeps stripping, and your chubby sized Android 19 that called out of an RB story like your skin. Video. Bitch, you look like the high mage from TMNT with truffle spaghetti seeping off the crevice of your head. I wouldn't even dare mumble out the words go outside if I was a half-baked, balding, middle-aged SML puppet that overdosed on a gallon of Drano. Let's watch another clip from this slim, thick, double chin, looking like an oversized, blimp-built-ass kaiju. Now, I'm a very sex-positive person, and sex research is something that I'm very passionate about. Oh, goody me. This top SPHD Harvard graduate will give us the most insightful research. Let's see what it's going to be. We're talking about TikToks, and I think a lot of these guys self-report hard enough. I don't need to debunk them with every single piece of facts and logic in my facts and logic cupboard. The most important thing to remember when watching this video is that everything that you hear in these TikToks is pretty much wrong. Oh, so your source for knowledge is just, trust me bro, okay. Is someone who's happy with themselves doing this? Yes. In fact, I'm probably way more happy than someone who literally thinks doing something that they enjoy is poisonous for you. So if I murder someone and enjoy it, that means it's not a crime. Many things are poison and damaging to the body, yet we enjoy doing it, like junk food, drugs, and cigars. They are designed that way to trick your brain into a false idea of comfort. Anything that gives you a short feeling of gratification tends to be bad for you, porn included. There is a reason when you indulge in these acts, you keep them behind closed doors. Everyone understands an addiction is shit, even those who do it themselves. You just can't stop because in the moment you go through this psychological warfare in which you'll tell yourself, hey, today I won't engage in that behavior. But once you're bored or feeling a little down, your instincts kick in and you lust for that brief moment of satisfaction. So in your head, you'll follow this process. You'll do it one time and stop. But the moment you start, you get hooked to it. So you keep going until you're happy afterwards and begin to feel guilty and depressed. You repeat the same mantra that I explained and the cycle repeats. That's how most addictions possess a person, no matter how strong-minded you are. It your brain. It damages your brain, specifically the prefrontal cortex. This is the part of the brain that makes you you. And every time you watch porn, it's like you're dismorphing a perfect sphere. Especially for you young guys, I know it's hard, but you have to stop. Society sexualizes everything, making y'all literally addicts at 12 to 15 years old. If you need help stopping, hit me in my DMs. I'm your favorite uncle. I'm better than your other uncles, so like and follow for more. Yeah, I bet most nofap guys have a brain that's a perfect sphere. A very smooth, shiny, little perfect sphere. I'm more likely to take the advice from the Rit Black NBA player than the blobfish wearing Raiden's pubic hairs looking like a haystack with a clash of clans trim. Yep, the killer's off-brand cousin from Timu. You look like Solomon Grundy if you use the puffer fish as a butt plug. You're built like Baymax if you planted a fried tumbleweed on your brain. When you walk outside, you gotta wear an astronaut suit so you don't evaporate Tom Holland style. You probably use a Pringles can to measure your weight. Use and Bolt can finish a lap on your forehead. Shit's the size of Mount Vesuvius. Your dumbass put a USB inside of your ear and thought you were listening to 50 cents. You look like you've showered and haven't at the same time. Your body is shaped like Pac-Man after stroking a power berry. You walk straight out of Kaluto's labia lips. Bro's head got a dining table for the Royal Saudis to gouge a Sprite can on. Kane Hikaru if he was a Nitro feature. Here is a clip of him getting offended because a comedian was laughing. There an ugly woman at the back going, boo. 
<laughs> Sorry, motherfucker, what? You can't laugh like that. It's not allowed. You're not supposed to to laugh in that way. Laughter is supposed to be- So laughing is a hate crime according to Harold Cartman over here. I'm glad I'm getting educated. Next. Why does he look like that? Why are his eyes yellow like a Sith Lord? Why does he feel like he was built in Detroit Become Human? Who is this man? I'm frightened of him. And why do you look like Oswald Cobblepot and your nose is posted up like an Elmer's glue bottle? Near from Death Note, if you had five IV bags of Miller Lite shoved up your anus, go back in your hidey hole if you're gonna insult people's appearances, at least make sure you don't look the part. Where did it all go wrong? This was him three years ago, by the way. Dude went from looking like the nerd I would beat up in a bathroom to becoming the bathroom itself. Brother's got a Minecraft mushroom bowl duct taped on the pores of his scalp. You look like Stay Puffed Marshmallow after a little DLC Baconator on top. Normal Bob if he dyed his hair with mayo sauce. Carl Weezer with a discount on Red Bubble. He looked like Cat Reen from Subway Surfers if she became an Uber driver. Dude's looking like Riley Anderson's autistic stepsister who's addicted to meth and fruit loop. You brush your hair with earwax. Chainsaw Man came in clutch with the silver the hedgehog combo. Also, what in the orange diabolical vertical fuck is that haircut? Shit. One moment you got a cauliflower collecting dust mites, the next it turns into a fruticini dish. Forehead's looking like a goddamn wood plank. Dude's so white you could be used as a flashlight. Edward Scissorhands was doing zigzag with a turbo jackhammer on the mangled up shoelaces. If being ginger is a hate crime, then being albino blonde is a genocide on the earth. You look like Big the Cat. Reddit is your favorite app. Your forehead is an Olympic racetrack. Your ugly face was created in a Murkoff lab. Your dad sold you on Craigslist as a fact. Your head has more wrinkly lines than a metro map. You beat off the Rouge the Bat. You hide from the sun so you wear a dirt map. Your face looks like the incognito tab. Your dusty pigeon nest is made of crack. And you're fucking fat. You look like Chum Chum if he was wearing a dandelion. You got doo-doo crumbs on your diaper and your nails are looking like a saber tooth tiger. I'm a little snowman, short and fat, here's my broom. When it's cold outside, I'd like to play. When the sun comes out, I melt away. That might as well be your slogan, because it suits you fairly well. Your dumbass is shaped like King Boo if he bleached his hair with OxyClean. You're the type of imbecile to start chanting, that's what the mask is, while you're picking your boogers and making a jigsaw puzzle out of them. You're like Chris Griffin if he was a retired gay prostitute. Even the sun has to wear glasses because of your radiating paleness would blind it. Actually, 1 divided by 2 equals 0 0.5 approximately. Sound and ass. Bitch, your head looks like Fugitoid. The only woman you've ever laid your eyes on is a Pinterest image of the Samsung assistant. Pokey Minch if she morphed into a mouth-breathing fridge. If the hag from Resident Evil smashed Chester from Fairly Odd Parents, this mutant would be the result. Your eyebrows look like an Egyptian sword. You look like Smokey the Bear with frostbite. You ejaculate gravy out your nostrils because you're out here built like Big Chungus. You're like Casper the Ghost set to Discord light mode. Your forehead is the backyard of the damn White House. Dude's posing like he's about to ask you for trick or dick. Bo's hair looks like it went through an eruption with that yee yee ass vanilla pudding. We have Mora cut home with sausage casings drooping out your skull and your duplicate is Ziggy from Lazy Town. And I think that serves as a perfect closing chapter for this video. Overall, Shithead is online is nothing more but a grifter. He is the embodiment of everything wrong with society wrapped in his own bubble of narcissism who seems to always have this passive aggressive tone on any topic that he deems is wrong and views anyone that isn't a part of his team as Lucifer. And quickly I'll bring this up, I talked to YouTube about my tipster video and sadly it won't be reinstated. Now my solution is I'll remake the whole thing from scratch, in the exact same way with all the same edits and commentary, like a remaster of sorts, once my community warning wears off, in like two months. I'm gonna be counting my gray hairs by then. So make sure to smack the like button for me, have a nice day, and good night. Yeah, I hope you're ready for the combat, Steve Nash, I'm about to bring the sun back, forecast, looking bright for the combat, can't ignore it, promise you can never sun die, I pray for it, get ready for the combat.